Hello, this is Stan for GPT for Work. I'm going to make a new demo about generating content in bulk in Google Sheets directly thanks to GPT for Sheets. You could do the same in Excel with GPT for Excel. So, in this spreadsheet, I have a, a keyword column here, column A, and I'm going to write, uh, ask the AI to write blog post titles in uh, column C. So for this, I'm going to use the custom prompt bulk tool uh, for which I have here pasted a prompt that says generate a compelling blog, po blog post title based on the following keyword. Here we go with some constraints here. And I'm going to run 20 of them. Let's go. All right, there we go. So we've got uh, our 20 uh, blog post ideas, as you can see. Uh, however, they are uh, relatively too similar. They start almost all the same with uh, 10 or top 10, and then essential, essential, essential. This is not great. So what I'll do is I will add a little bit of uh, a trick here uh, that says the title must start with the letter first letter, which is uh, given in this column here. So let me try again. And there you go. With this very simple trick, I now have uh, blog post titles that all look different. Uh, you could use any uh, variation of this trick um, to get more diversity in your generated content. But I think this looks great. So now what I'll do is I will generate um, Q and A's uh, for this popular questions that we could write about, uh, we'd answer on, on this topic. For this, I will use a function, uh, not a bulk tool. Uh, I will use specifically the HList for horizontal list function. And I'm gonna ask, okay, can you generate three popular questions about this topic? So let's go for the first one. And I'm going to drag this formula so that we get the results. And so you, you can see that I get one question per cell. So that's the uh, magic of the GPT HList formula. And there we go. We've got our 60 questions, which looks pretty good. Okay, uh, so that, that was fast. Uh, now let's uh, see another use case, which is to generate Google Ads uh, headlines. So for this, I'm going to uh, start from the same list of keywords uh, and change the prompt. So here, my prompt, I'm gonna replace it. So it's generate a single Google, Google search ad headline based on the following keyword. And what's something that's super important for Google ads headlines is they need to be under 30 characters and cannot have an emoji. So uh, let's see what we get as a result here. I'm gonna change the results column to uh, Google Ads headline. There we go. All right, so as you can see here, I've gotten uh, 20 uh, Google, Ad, uh, Google Ads headlines. Uh, most of them are under the limit of characters here. I've uh, created this column with the len function to measure immediately the um, length of each headline. Uh, that's the power of being in a spreadsheet. Uh, however, there are four of them that are uh, that went above. Uh, so in this case, what I'll do is I will uh, use a formula that uh, basically what it does is if uh, the headline was under 30 characters, then just repeat it. We don't do anything. Uh, but if it was above, in this case, we will uh, try again based on based on it. Uh, and we will use a slightly different model here, GPD 4.1, which is better at uh, uh, following instructions than uh, Claude's on it. Okay, so if I run it on this one, uh, unsurprisingly, it doesn't change anything because the length was 29 characters, which is fine. And if I drag it down here, we'll see that all of those are uh, just copied over. And now the four that were too long are uh, of a good size. So 
just a simple trick of uh, doing a second pass will work perfectly. Uh, and, and then you could, uh, you could drag it even more. Okay, uh, I think these, uh, this is a good demo of how you can do content generation in bulk. You can use both, both uh, the bulk tools here and the functions uh, for what you want. Um, I hope this uh, inspires you to uh, generate content with GPT for Sheets or Excel inside your spreadsheets directly. Thank you very much for listening. Do not hesitate to ask questions and reach out to us. Bye-bye.